Hello, senor, senorita, and my lovely little factory owner. My name is Zeno, the crazy German engineer, and I welcome you to another mod spotlight. The mod I will show you today is called What is Missing? And after my intro has played, I will show you what this awesome mod is able to do. This mod will greatly help to improve your productivity. After you installed the mod, you will find a great little button in the top left corner called WIM. If you click on it, this little menu will open. Now here are two checkboxes called Current Research and Rocket. We will look at them in just a second. But first let's click on this little space right here, because here we can set a filter. And how does it work? Well, we tell the mod which production line, production chain should be checked. Let's, before I select something, let's look at what I've built here. We have some electric mining drills producing iron ore. This iron ore gets smelted into iron plates with steel furnaces over here. And then we produce some iron gears, yellow belts and red belts. And now I want to see and tell the mod to look for our red belt production. So I will just click on this little field and select the red belt icon. Now here's where the magic happens. What the mod does is, once we selected the filter, the mod will look at every single assembling machine or production uh, building we have that has um, the order to produce the item from the filter. In this case, it looks at our assembling machine level 2 that wants to produce red belts. Now, we have two of these machines. On top, it needs uh, yellow belts. It cannot produce right now because there are yellow belts missing. And that's why the yellow belt icon is shown here in the top left corner. That's perfectly fine. So we know our red belts won't get produced because yellow belts are missing. But the mod does not stop there. Because if we look now at our yellow belt production line, we can see it needs iron plates. This assembling machine that wants to produce the yellow belts for our red belt production can't produce and needs iron plates. That's why the iron plates are shown on the left side. But the mod does not stop there either, because you can see that the iron ore icon is displayed as well, because the mod knows that we have steel furnaces over here who could produce more um, iron plates if we just managed to get more iron ore over here. You can see there is just not enough ore on our belt to fully um, satisfy our steel furnaces. So the mod basically tells us, hey, you want more red belts? Then produce more yellow belts. But wait, you can produce more yellow belts right now because you need more iron plates. But um, to get more iron plates, you need to get more iron ore to your steel furnaces. On the other hand, our um, our Iron gear assembling machines are totally fine because they produce enough iron uh, gears for our red belt production. That's not an item that is missing and that's why our iron gear icon is not shown on the top left corner. So as you can see it's a perfect and very handy tool to find yeah, the bottlenecks of your factory. But wait because there's even more. So let's talk about the checkboxes, because it will show you how useful this mod can be. If you toggle on the rocket checkbox, the mod will check why your um, rocket is not built right now. And if we click on our rocket silo, we can see there are only three rocket control units in uh, the building right now and we need of course more. We have enough low density structures and enough rocket fuel, but the rocket control units are missing. Now the mod can exactly show us where the bottleneck is. We need more speed modules to produce rocket control units and we do it over here. Assembling machine level 3 needs uh, speed modules for rocket control units. 
but the speed module cannot be produced because there is not enough advanced circuitry. So let's see, yeah, this and this, well, the right one can produce, but the left one is not producing right now because there is green circuits missing, like it's shown here. And the green circuits that come from the top here cannot get produced because there is not enough iron. So let's change that. I will get some more iron over here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. These iron plates will get into our green circuit factory. And once enough iron is here and all our green circuit assembling machines start to work, our iron plates on, on the left corner here will disappear in just a second. And it's gone. Now even the green circuits are gone because the red uh, circuit production has enough green circuits and it's not a missing ingredient anymore. But our speed modules still need more advanced circuits. And I can see that these two uh, assembling machines are barely enough. There is not enough advanced circuit production, so let me change that as well. Now I changed it and you can see with four red circuit uh, assembling machines, our speed module assembling machine has enough red circuits to work with. Now, there's one thing you need to keep in mind. If you use the checkbox rocket, it will only show you the production line of the item that is currently missing in the rocket silo. If you want to check for all three items you need, you have to do it manually. Untoggle the checkbox and just go for low density structures, for rocket fuel and for rocket control units. Now the current research button works in a similar fashion. We just have to click it and select something to research. And now it will show us every science pack that is missing in one of our um, labs. I have some chests right here with different um, science packs in them. And once the chests dry up, the amount of science packs shown in the left corner will increase. Let's just wait uh, 10 seconds or something and you can see green, black, white, blue and yellow science packs are missing and reds are missing almost all the time. But some logistic robots are flying from left to right and bring red signs so it will flash. Uh, we can even use our creative provider chest and toggle it to science. And now all our robots will fly, fill up the chests again, the labs will fill up again and the symbols and the icons in the left corner will disappear because the labs have everything they need to research. Now you know the basic functionality of this mod, but there are two things I want to point out. The first one is when you get icons like here that are flashing and yeah, are shown in one second and disappear in the next second. It could be because um, you have a machine that is producing and consuming the ingredients faster than the inserter can uh, insert them. You can see the iron plates get red every, yeah, every second, I would say, just because I've used a wrong inserter for our setup. So if you have flashing icons, go double check that uh, your inserters are working fast enough. Now let's look at the second example. Right here we have a lot of assembling machines that are producing iron gears. Or should I say they try to produce iron gears. The mod is showing us that our iron gear production is not properly working because iron plates are missing. But we have no idea how many iron plates are missing at all. We can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 18 assembling machines. And wouldn't it be nice if the mod can show us with a little maybe number right here how many of our assembling machines are missing the iron plates to produce iron gears? I mean, probably half of our machines are working so it would be very helpful in my eyes if a little nine would be displayed here and showing us hey 
half of your assembling machines are working and half of your assembling machines are waiting for iron plates. It would be a nice little orientation for us to know exactly how many iron plates we have to produce or how many assembling machines are demanding ingredients. So I just talked to the mod maker of this awesome little mod and he said he will uh, try to make it into a newer version and to make this feature a real thing. I have no idea if it's possible or not, but let's hope that he finds a way. Well guys, we are at the end. I showed you an awesome mod and now it's up to you to decide if you want to try it out for yourself or not. If you want to try it out, just click on the video description. You can find the link to the mod right there. If you want to say thank you, just give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you not already did so. And of course, if you would share my videos with other Factorio players, that would be awesome. Have a nice day, my little factory owners, and remember, the factory, it has to grow. Special thanks to Cyberbone.